Hey guys, welcome. Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. It's gonna be a hot one today, so make sure you've got plenty of water. As usual, grab your four cones, four socks, something to mark out a little area in whatever space you've got. And then uh, grab your bolts, start warming up. Some little juggles, some bounce juggles, some toe taps, just get your heart rate up. What's up guys, welcome. Like Coach Stewart said, get your ball, get some objects to use as cones. If you're anything like me, get a towel to wipe yourself down. Yep, it's gonna be a hot one. Make sure you get a lot of water. Neil, Julia, what's up? Any famous faces? All the regulars? Yeah, we got some regulars, Ainsley, Molly. So guys, just jump in with the ball, grab your four markers, four socks, I think it's probably the best things I can suggest. Just some of the mark up your area, grab your ball, grab your water. We'll get going in just a few minutes. Get a nice workout in today. Maddie, what's up? Oh, feeling a little rusty, it's been a while. <laughs> Looking half wreck. Yeah. Get your balls, guys, get some touches on it, just get some juggling going. We'll get started in just a second. Max, Joey, what's up? Colin, Brendan, Leah, Paige, McKenna's back. What time is it? Andrew, Ryan, Michael. Hey guys. All right, 3:29. We got another minute, and then we'll get started. Give them a minute, guys. Just jumping in. You need your four objects. So we've marked out a square, but we're gonna we're gonna probably use a little smaller square today. So grab your four objects. Don't do anything with them just now. Grab your ball. Start getting some touches, some toe taps, some toe rolls. What else do they need today? Anything? Water. What's the water? Get some water. A smile. Positive attitude. Right. <laughs> Coach Erica is back. I think she gets the perfect attendance award. <laughs> I think so too. <laughs> Has anybody else been here every week? Oh yeah. I think there's a few. I think there's a few names that I've seen every Give every us a Monday, every Wednesday. Give us a hands up, hand up, hand raise emoji if you've been here every week in the comments. Remind you guys, today's lesson pretty simple. So if you've got a parent, a brother, a sister, somebody there with you that's never played soccer, that's okay. They can join in. We're going to make it nice and simple. And you guys that are experienced soccer players will make it. We'll make it a little more intense. We'll show you some ways to uh, to get a bit more out of it. But anybody can do this workout. So go grab your parents. We've had a couple of parents telling us that they've worked out with their kids during these sessions and had a good time. So let's give a uh, real quick before we get started. Let's give some perfect attendance shout outs. Uh, we got Courtney, Michelle, McKenna, Kate. Dino, I'm thinking that one is. Perfect attendance, good job, guys. Nice. Very impressive. Michael, Lori, Naomi, Colin, wow. Sean. Good job, guys, good dedication. That's what we like to see. All right, what time is it? All right, Trisha. All right, we are gonna get started here, guys. It is 3.31, perfect timing. All righty, guys, we are gonna get started with our warm up. So get to the middle of your area. Have your ball close, but you won't need it for this very first thing. So what we are gonna do is we are just gonna get started with some jumping jacks. I think all you should know how to do jumping jacks. If you don't, take a look at Coach Stewart. We are getting going with some jumping jacks. Let's get the heart rate up, get a nice little warm up. Heels don't touch the ground. 
balls of our feet. Yep. We might have to repeat that lesson. Staying on the balls of our feet on this. Don't let those heels touch the ground. Uh oh, right now, let's pick it up a little. Let's do a little faster. Try to get maybe double time in with these jumping jacks. Nice job. All right, if you guys are just joining us, we are doing some jumping jacks. All right, now go back to normal speed. With those jumping jacks now, we are going to jump a little bit wider and deeper. So almost jumping down into a squat, just some really nice wide jumping jacks. Bend those knees a little bit. Feel that stretch in your groin, hamstrings maybe. Hold it for a second at the bottom, that's probably a good idea. Yep. Go ahead and hold it for a second, like Coach Stewart said. Just kind of using that jumping jack form, jumping down, getting a nice stretch, hang out at the bottom there. Move it around a little bit to get a nice good stretch. And then we can go back to our normal jumping jacks. Getting that heart rate up. Alrighty you guys, good job, take a little break. Next we are going to get our soccer ball. And we are going to do some sole roll TikToks. So basically a TikTok, but with the sole of your foot, pushing it back and forth, back and forth with the sole of your foot. Ooh. Excellent. We are just doing TikToks right now, guys, with the sole of our foot back and forth. Excellent, let's try to pick it up a little bit. Let's go a little bit faster. Pick it up just a little bit. Nice job, guys. Alrighty, now what we're gonna do, if that's feeling easy, we're going to do a little bit of a drag push motion. So Coach Stewart's gonna drag it out to the outside a little bit, push it back into the inside. Your ball's staying on the foot the whole time, kind of pushing down the side of the ball. Yeah. If you can do that, we're gonna go ahead and try those. If not, go back to those sole roll Starting TikToks. Foot, I'm rolling it out as it moves. My foot comes to the side and then very quickly pushes it back in. So real time, it's gonna be Okay, we are calling this a drag push. So let's try those drag push back and forth. Take a look at Coach Stewart to see what that looks like. If that's a little tricky, just go back to your normal soul roll TikToks back and forth. Excellent. Let's just get some of our coordination down, get our minds and feet a little warmed up. Good job, guys. Wow. Five more seconds. Alrighty, now take a little break. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get our four objects and set those up. Coach Stewart's gonna show us how. So, this is for you guys just to see what I'm doing. Start in the middle, one step out, cone, shot, whatever. One step out, cone. One step out, put it down, one step back. Put it there. So we got a nice small box, and then I'm going to return to the middle. So you guys are going to be standing in the middle, and you're going to be doing fast feet just on, the, on your toes, on the balls of your feet. And when I say forward, back, left, or right, you're going to jump to that cone. You're going to say them all together, right? No. <laughs> when I say one of those, you're going to jump to that cone and land on one foot, keeping your balance, gaining your balance, and then jumping back to the middle. So Coach Stewart's going to show us what a forward looks like. He is balancing, he's jumping to the, the other cone. side of the cone and then returning back to his fast feet. Let's have him show us what left looks like to his left. Outside foot. Excellent, so when we go forwards and backwards, just switch up which feet you're using on those so that you're not getting too much work on one. All right, does that sound good? That makes sense? Let's do it. All right, so we are on our toes, fast feet, just in the middle of our square, just jumping up and down. And I'm going to say right. You're going to jump to the right, get your balance, and jump back. Back to those uh, on your toes. All right, let's go back. Get your balance. And back to the middle. Good job, guys. All right, left. Excellent, get your if balance. It's a little tricky. You guys can just fall onto the left. Okay, that jumps. Can be a little tricky, so... 
Just do what you can. All right, and forward. Excellent. Try to be light on those feet. Back. Excellent. Back to the middle. Right. All right, let's do one more. And left. Excellent. Now you can take a two second break. What we're going to do now yeah, instead of. Yeah. All right, Coach Stewart's taking a legit break. <laughs> no. no, just kidding. All right. Now, what we're going to do is instead of jumping to those cones, we're going to get down and touch them with our hand. So let's have Coach Stewart show us what that looks like to the right. He gets down and touches. So um, notice I'm not just leaning, I'm not pivoting, my whole body's going down, boom. Boom. Bending those knees. Boom. Yeah, fast feet, moving your whole body, not just relying on a, a pivot, okay? Yep. Alrighty guys, that makes sense. We're going back to fast feet in the middle. Let's make those more fast feet a little faster. Kind of more of a one, two, one, two. Alrighty, let's go forwards. Excellent, and back. We're getting down and touching those cones. Backwards. Get down, touch that cone, return to the middle. And left. Excellent, bending those knees. Right. Getting over, quick reactions, bending those knees. Back to the middle. Forward. Excellent. Couple more. Let's go back. All right, let's go left, then right. Left, then right. Good job. Forward. And let's do one more. Forward, back, left, right. <laughs> All right, guys, take a little break. Hopefully you broke a little bit of a sweat. Go ahead and grab a sip of water and we are going to get started with our workout. If you guys are just joining us, we're gonna get get going with our workout. We just finished up our warm up. Do I need these? You do not need those cones anymore. You do not need your objects anymore. Toss them off to the side. All right, guys, for our workout today, we are going to be doing couplets again. I think you might recognize that word. We've used it before. So we are going to be doing sets of two different workouts for three minutes. 30 seconds of one workout, 30 seconds of the other. Like we did last time. Like we did last time. All righty, so the first two things that we are going to be doing in our couplets is bounce juggles oh, yeah. and inchworms. So Coach Stewart's gonna show us what a bounce juggle bounce looks like. Juggle. We're gonna let the ball bounce. Up, up. If you guys need to catch, that's okay. If you're advanced players, your job is to keep the ball as low to the ground as you can. So it's tiny little touches. Fast feet. Notice I'm not really touching the ball. I'm working on that tiny little touch to keep the ball maybe what six eight inches above the ground. Yeah. You guys see that? So our goal is to get that bounce juggle as close to the ground as we can. Yeah. The closer to the ground, the harder it is. If you guys kick it all the way up and catch it, or if you guys kick it all the way up, you got lots of time to react. So I'm doing small, small, small. My feet have got to move faster, my touch has got to be softer. But again, yeah. if you're more of a beginner, that you're ball a beginner, can... bounce, juggle, bounce, juggle, bounce, juggle. And if you need to catch, that's okay. Alrighty, so the, work, the exercise that's going to be going with that is an inchworm. Coach Stewart's going to show us what an inchworm looks like. Inchworm. Okay, all we're going to do, we're going to try and touch the floor in front of our feet. And then we're going to walk our hands out to a push-up position, down, walk back. That is one. That's one. Okay? Back down, hands to the ground. If I keep my legs straight, fantastic. If you need to bend, that's okay. Touch your toes, walk your hands out. Boom! Push up, walk it back. Okay? So is that clear? 30 seconds of bounce juggles, 30 seconds of inchworms, 30 seconds of bounce juggles, 30 seconds of inchworms. Okay, we're gonna go for six sets. Yep, alrighty, Daniel Jefferson has, has joined us. Alrighty guys, so are we ready? Does that make sense to everyone? We are doing bounce juggles for 30 seconds, inchworms for 30 seconds, Just I'll copy. let you know. That's okay, Just copy. <laughs> alrighty guys, we are gonna get going in about three seconds. Is it three seconds? In three, two, one. All right, let's get going with those bounce juggles for 30 seconds. Again, try to keep that ball as close to the ground as you can. 
If it's difficult, Can bring it up a higher. little further. Yep. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Got 10 seconds, and then we are switching to those inchworms. All right, we are off to the inchworms now. Again, starting a standing position, bringing those hands down to your feet, crawling out, crawling out like an inchworm, down to a push-up, crawling back in, and standing all the way up. We got 15 seconds of this. Getting down into a good push-up at the bottom. You got five seconds. In the All right, back to our bounce juggles. Try to see if you can go unbroken without having to pick the ball back up and without losing control. If you do though, that's okay. Get, get your ball back and get going again. We got about 10 seconds and we're back to the inchworms. Alrighty guys, we are back to those inchworms now. Crawling out, nice, good push-up. Crawling your hands back in. Good job. Try to keep moving the whole time. Got about 10 seconds left of this, and then we are back to the ball. And three, two, one, we are back to those bounce struggles. Getting a little tired, might start losing control, focus. Can you go left, right, well, that's good work, yeah. Good job, guys, we got about five seconds. We are back to the inchworms. All right, back to the interim's last round. Let me get a little break. Try to get as many in as you can here. Just steady movements, right? Yep, just keep moving. Good job, guys. All right, three seconds. All righty, guys, and take a little break. Good, little bud. Good work. We are going to do three more sets of those. Different exercises, though. Correct, different exercises. Different exercises. All, right. All right, the next two exercises that we are going to do are beat your ball and knee to elbow. Coach Stewart's going to show us what a beat your ball looks like. This is coined a coined phrase by him, I think. <laughs> All right, so you're so going to. have a space you're in. I'm going to try and roll it and get to the other, other side of my space before the ball. So I'm rolling it fast around it and trapping it with the opposite foot. So if I'm balls here on my left side, I'm going to try and get all the way around and turn with my right. So it's just a little sprint, it's a little change of pace. If you guys have only got two feet of space, it's okay. Fast, fast, Ooh. nice fast, uh, fast feet in between. Um, what was the next one? Alrighty, the next one is a uh, knee to elbow. So okay. you're gonna put all fours Back into a push -up position. down in the ground. <sighs> and you're gonna bring opposite knee to opposite elbow. Those are our knee to elbows. Your butt is gonna raise a little bit on this one, that's okay. There we go. Yeah. So again, you got, uh, the idea guys, just so we explain what we're doing, you've got two movements. We're working for three minutes, there's something that should be really intense. So the running after your ball should be really intense. And then the knees to elbows is a little smoother. It's a little more steady. So it changes things up every 30 seconds. It should allow you to, uh, to maintain intensity better than just doing three minutes of the same thing, okay? Whew. What are we doing first? Beat the ball. Alrighty, so the first thing we're gonna do is beat your ball. So get, get your little space set up, get to one side of the area that you have, and get ready to go in three, two, one. Alrighty guys, we're off doing beat your balls. Rolling it out with the sole of our foot, getting around the ball on the other side, and settling it down. Good 
Good job, guys. Good work. Ten seconds left. Get a couple more in. Notice Coach Stewart's getting a nice little sprint in there. A few steps. Alrighty, guys. Down to the ground for the knee to elbow. You are in a push-up position. You're bringing opposite knee to opposite elbow, keeping that core tight and engaged the whole time. If you guys are just joining us, get your ball, get to the middle of your area. Right now we are doing knee to elbows for 10 more seconds. All right, and in five seconds, we're back to the ball. All right, guys, we are back on that ball for beat your balls, rolling it out, running around the other side, getting a couple steps of a sprint in there. Good job. Working with whatever space we got, just get those legs moving, pump those arms. Good work, guys. All right. And we are back to the ground. On all fours, knee to elbow. Keep that core tight. Good work. Halfway. All right, guys. And in one second, we are back on the ball. This is the last round of beat your balls, so make it good. We're rolling that ball, running around to get to the other side of it. Got 20 more seconds. Excellent job, guys. 10 seconds. Good work, folks, on your breathing. All right, guys, we are back to the ground. Last round for this set. We are back to those knee to elbows. Good work. Try not to let your hips roll around too much. Try to keep your body in a straight line. Good job. All right, five seconds and you get a break. Well done. All right, guys, good job. Take a little break. And then we'll show you what the next two are. Good work, you guys. It's a hot one out there today. Stay hydrated. Get that sweat wiped off and then get back to the middle. All right, the next two exercises that we're going to do are roll hops and power squats. These roll hops are gonna be a little, little different. different. Coach Stewart will show us what they're going to look like. I'll show you guys side on because it might be easy to see. So, previously, we've moved forward and backwards with our ball. Today, we're going to move in the opposite direction. So, one foot forward, one foot back. All we're going to do is switch, 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 switch. Trying to stay on my toes. All right, sliding oh. it with the sole of your foot. Yeah. Alrighty. Right, full 30 seconds. And the second one is power squats. Power squats. Okay, so feet are a little narrow, shoulders width apart. I'm going to go out and down, back together. Out and down, back together. Out and down, back together. Alrighty, does that make sense? We are doing 30 seconds of roll hops, 30 seconds of power squats, and then doing that yeah. again. If the roll hops get a little difficult, and they can, just do it with your ball, forward and backwards. The objective today is to be able to switch it up. Alrighty, I'll let you guys know when we are halfway through the 30 seconds so that um, you can switch feet if you want. Yeah, good idea. Alrighty, guys, if there's no questions, we're going to get... should be intense? The squats or the roll hops? Roll hops. Correct, good answer. Roll hops are nice and intense, squats are nice and steady and consistent. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, we are gonna get going with this round in three, two, one. Alrighty, we are starting with those roll hops, trying to have our feet working in opposite directions. As you can see with Coach Stewart, start slow, get your rhythm, and then speed it up a bit. 
All right, we are halfway through if you want to switch feet. Good work, guys. After this, we are going to our power squats. In three, two, one. Alrighty, to our power squats. Jumping down into that deep squat. Back up. Trying to get our hips below 90 degrees. Try not to let your knees come in. Have them Tracking over your toe. Good job, guys. 10 seconds. And three, two, one. We are back to those roll hops. Remember, trying to alternate direction. If that's a little hard, you can go uh, same direction, hopping forward and back with your ball. And switch feet. We're halfway if you want to switch. All right, staying engaged with your mind. Keep that rhythm. And three, two, one. We are back to power squats, guys. Halfway there. Good work. Notice those hips are going below 90 while also trying to keep your chest as high as you can. Good work, we got about five seconds. And three, two, one. Back to those roll hops. Last round of roll hops, make them good. Good work, you guys. Keep moving, this is the intense one. Let's make it intense and switch feet. Last round of roll hops, get as many in as you can. In about five seconds, we'll get back to those power squats for your last round. And three, two, one. Alrighty, back to those power squats. 30 seconds and you get a break. Make, make sure you're focusing on your form with these. Try to get nice and below 90 degrees. Good work, guys. All right, and get a break in three, two, one. All right, guys, good work. It's a hot one out there. Go get a sip of water. Take a breath. And then we'll get back with our last round of these couplets. All righty, guys. Last one? Last round of the couplets, yep. And if you need a little motivation to keep yourself going, there are no burpees today. So that should be something to look forward to. <laughs> All right, Coach Erica, telling you guys, good job, well done. All righty guys, so the next two movements that we are going to do are, with our soccer ball, we are going to do triangles. We've done this before. You are making a triangle with your soccer ball, pulling it back. So it helps when we see this. Cross, let it go, pull, cross. Diagonal, diagonal, cross. Diagonal. Yep, you are pulling it back, pushing it to the other side, pushing it back out in front of you, making a triangle with your soccer ball. Alrighty, the second thing we're gonna do is flutter kicks. You're gonna go down on the ground. Oh. <laughs> and you are going to lift your shoulders up off the ground, engaging your core, lifting your legs off the ground, and fluttering them. If you want a challenge, you can do it kind of in a C motion like Coach Stewart's doing. Wide kind of together, wide together. Yeah. If you want it to be a little easier, we're doing that. The higher you do it, so if I do it up here, it's easier. I do it really close to the ground, it's hard. Alrighty, so those are our two movements for this last round of couplets. What we're starting with, all, all up. Triangles, yep. So let's keep those triangles intense and let's keep our flutter kicks nice and steady. Alrighty, we got some excitement about no burpees. <laughs> I'm gonna need a burpee. I'm gonna figure out how to do some burpees. Alrighty guys, well, let's get our soccer ball and let's get ready to do those triangles in the middle of our area in three, 
two, and one. All right, guys, triangles. We are pulling it back, pushing it over, pushing it forwards, creating a triangle Tell with. Me we'll get off wheel list so I can switch direction. Okay, Please. forming a triangle with our soccer ball. Start it off slow if you need to. Halfway, switch directions. Good work, pulling it back with that opposite foot now. And in three, two, one. We are down to the ground for those flutter kicks. Excellent, our shoulders are off the ground, engaging that core. Coach Stewart's doing that out wide and over technique. If that's difficult, do the flutter. Good work, you guys. Keep that, try to keep that core engaged for the whole 30 seconds. You got about five seconds left. In three, two, one. We are back on our ball, back to triangles. Good work, you guys. Try to get a nice rhythm going. Good work, and halfway, switch directions. Excellent. All right, you guys, we are back to the ground now. Back to those flutter kicks. Shoulders off the ground, engage the core, and get fluttering. Remember trying to keep your feet as close to the ground as you can will make it more difficult. A little higher will ease it up a little. Good work, guys, if you're just joining us. Grab your soccer ball. We are in the middle of our area doing triangles. Back to those triangles. It takes you a couple seconds to uh, <laughs> recalibrate after you <laughs> tighten your core for some All right, get control of your breathing. Oh, switch feet. Sorry, guys. That one will be a little uneven. Five seconds. Three, two, one, last and round. last round. Back on the ground for those flutter kicks. This is the last round for all of the couplets that we're doing. So we'll get a nice little break after this. Coach Stewart's decided to pick up his soccer ball. <laughs> for comfort. <laughs> it's his emotional support soccer ball. All right, you got about five seconds left. And three, two, one. Alrighty guys, take a break, good job. Yes, I said break, that means we have one thing left to do. You guys should know what it is. It is the, wanna see if anyone's gonna say it in the comments. AMRAP. Take a nice little break, it's a hot one today. Go wipe your sweat, go get a sip of water, catch your breath. Grab two cones, right? And yes, grab two of your objects. Oh yeah, the comments, comments are getting it. You guys know all about that MRAP. All right. All righty guys. Let's get in the AMRAP headspace. Get ready to go for eight minutes and then you're done. I like AMRAPs for that reason. You know exactly when you're done. Coach Stewart, you're doing a great job. Thanks, you said that. Coach Erica. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we're gonna get two of our um, objects or cones. And we're gonna set them about one about norm, two, two of your feet, if you're real little. Well, <laughs> you know, about a about a normal step apart, enough to fit your soccer ball through at least. Yeah, maybe like two widths of the soccer ball, two and a half. Alrighty, so Coach Stewart, you want to get uh, our whiteboard out for us? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh. Visible. Alrighty guys, yep. So we 
are gonna go through our three movements. The first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna keep our 2010 five like we have every week. Um, you're gonna get your soccer ball. And the first thing we're gonna do is push our soccer ball around the cones, through the gate. Coach Stewart's gonna show us what that looks like. It has to go through the gate 20 times. But it has to go the same way. So you can't just go one, two, three, four, five. No, it's gotta go one, around, two, around. So if you're a pretty good soccer player, we can just do our little triangles to go through. If you can't do that, then we're going to have to dribble. Nice tight touches. One, two, three, and so on. Every time you break that line, there's one point. You're going to do that 20 times. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Real quick, AMRAP. If you guys haven't been here for it, it's as many reps as possible. So we are going and getting as many reps of these three different things in as we can in eight minutes. So that's the first one. We are doing 20 of those. Once you do 20 of those, we are going to 10 head tap push-ups. We've done this before. Coach Stewart, show us what it looks like. Go down into a push-up, rest your chest on the ground, tap your head, and back up. There's one, two. These ones were a hard one last time. They were the sleeper. <laughs> Alrighty, so you're gonna do 10 of those. Once you do 10 of those, you will go back down to the ground. So you're just gonna flip over. You're gonna grab your ball, you're gonna put it between your feet. You can do whatever you want with your hands. If you do this, it's difficult. If you do this, it's a little easier. And you're gonna go one, two, three, up to five. Let's say the ball touches the ground, you gotta start five again. Ooh, okay. Right, because we want them to keep but it's going to keep tension in the wraps here. So if I touch the ground, it takes all the tension away. So I'm going almost to the ground, up, up. The whole time, this is tense. So it's going to develop your abs more. All so right. good? Yep, we got one question. Can we use a square for the gates? Uh, yeah, you could use a square. Just cross the plane of cross one of those sides each time. Every time. That's fine, yeah. That'll work too, yeah. Yeah, whatever you want to do. We just want you guys to so cross. For example, it would be like one, two, three and so on, right? Yeah. As long as you break the line 20 times, I'm okay with that. Alrighty, so do all those exercises make sense? So we are doing 20, we'll call them gates. 20 going through the gates, 10 head tap push-ups, five leg raises, and then back to the top, back to 20 gates, 10 head tap push-ups, five leg raises. Keep track of how many times you get through this whole set, this whole round, and we're gonna see how many rounds we get at the end of eight minutes. So we're gonna count our rounds, a round, you do this, you do this, you do this. Once you've done that, that's one round. And then you go into reps, reps, reps. So at the end of this, you might do four complete rounds. You might get the gates and five push-ups. So that would be four complete rounds plus 20, plus five, 25. The reason we use rounds is because it's way easier than counting all those individual reps. reps. You'd get up to high numbers, yeah. so it's a little easier. Alrighty. So let's get a little thumbs up if that's You guys right. know what you're doing. Let's get a thumbs up if that all sounds good. If it doesn't, Let's get our questions in the comments, and if we don't see anything, we'll get going here. So I'm going to move my cone. So I'm going to move my cone back a little bit, so I've got more space. Okay. Same distance. Okay. Alrighty, we're getting some thumbs up. Excellent. Alrighty, I'll give you guys another 30 seconds. Cool. Did you set the timer? And we'll get going here. Go. Yep. Timer's ready to go. So I said that they've got to go the same way every time, right? You can't just go back and forth over your line yeah, for the gates. One, two, three. That's not allowed. It's got to be the same way. One. And then get back around. Back around. Just the ball has to go all the way around. Yep. The player, like I'm going to do, I'm just going to stand here and go one. Just get that ball to cross the line. Two. Uh, the last line of the AMRAP is five leg raises. So let's go through it one more time. 20 gates, 10 head tap push-ups, and five leg raises. There we go. Alrighty. Do this, do this, do this. Go back and do this, do this, do this. And keep going. Everybody's doing eight minutes of work. All right, we got thumbs up. I think we're good to go. Yeah, Alrighty, guys, get your markers in place. Get your ball ready to go. And we are going to get going with that ball through the gates in three, two, one. Alrighty, guys, we are started with our AMRAP. So we're getting that ball through the plane of our gate. 
Coach Stewart's bringing it from the same side every time, so he's getting that ball back around to the other side of the cone and getting it through that gate. Remember, we're not just going back and forth. We are getting it around the cone. If you're using a square, you're traveling to another side of your square to get it through that plane. Imagine there is a laser beam in your soccer. Your soccer ball is setting off the alarm <laughs> every time it goes through. Alrighty, once you get done with 20 of those, we are moving on to head tap push-ups, 10 of them. Getting your chest down to the ground, tapping your head. Excellent. I like these better than real push-ups. Although both are easy as I'm just sitting here watching you guys. <laughs> Alrighty, after 10 head tap push-ups, roll over onto your back, get that soccer ball between your feet and we are going on to leg raises. Remember Coach Stewart's challenge, don't let that soccer ball touch the ground. If it does, he says you gotta start over with those five leg raises. That's a round. All right, Coach Stewart got one round done. Remember keeping track of how many rounds we do. He is back to his gates. All right, guys. Remember, we talk about this every week. The goal of this is to keep moving for eight minutes. Try not to stop, keep those movements going. If you need to take a breath, that's fine. But our goal is to keep moving the whole time. Good work. Coach Stewart's technique is to just drag that ball around the cone in a square, basically. Doing them nice and quick that way. All right, he's off to the push ups. Good work, you guys. The goal, like we've said, is as many reps as possible, but let's also make sure we're keeping good form, doing these movements right, not cheating anything too much or at all, I guess. <laughs> all righty, Coach Stewart's back on his back, ball between his legs. If this is really easy for you and you have a parent nearby, they could take your ankles at the top and throw them down. <laughs> That's a round. Alrighty, Coach Stewart's done another round. Good work, you guys. You have under five minutes left. Under five minutes. Less than five minutes and your workout is done. Keep moving. All right, Coach Stewart's trying another technique for his third round. He's basically forming a figure eight with that ball. I'm trying something different. I like to say. <laughs> work you guys coach Stewart's working on his third round right now all right you guys we are just about halfway we are halfway coach Stewart has finished three rounds I'm gonna challenge him to see if he can get up to six so wherever your rounds are on now, challenge yourself to double that in the eight minutes. Awesome job, guys. It's a hot one out there. Keep working. So remember, guys, you're going through 20 gates, 10 head tap push-ups, five leg raises, and back to the top. As many rounds of that as you can. In these eight minutes, we've got about three minutes and 20 seconds left. Good work, guys. You should be getting tired, should be feeling the burn, should be nice and sweaty. If you're not, go faster.
We have got less than three minutes left, you guys. We are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Keep working hard. Coach Stewart has about two and a half minutes to finish two more rounds. Can you do it? Let's see. Good work, you guys. Two and a half minutes left. That is nothing. That's how long it takes to pop popcorn. Keep working. You guys, we have two minutes left. This is the home stretch. Let's go. Try to get another round or two in. You can really bang out these head tap push ups and leg raises nice and fast to get those rounds done. and a half left. Ugh. Try to finish one whole round in that minute and a half. I've challenged Coach Stewart to get six rounds. He's working on a six right now. Let's see if he can finish it. Good work, you guys. This is the light at the end of the tunnel. This is the home stretch. Let's see if we can pick it up right now. Let's see if we can pick it up. We have one minute left. Let's go. One minute. Excellent work, guys. Keep that steady movement. Try not to stop here in the end. Coach Stewart's going even faster. Let's see if you can do the same. He really wants to finish this round. All right, I think he's going to do it. You guys have about 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. Try to finish this round. Try to get going on the next wow. round. So All right, guys, you got about 20 seconds left. Keep track of how many reps you get here. 15 seconds. And 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, three, two, one. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All righty, guys, that is it for the AMRAP. Excellent job. Go ahead and write your scores down if you need to. Put them in the comments. How many rounds you got? So, Coach Stewart, how many uh, reps did you get of that last round? Yeah, no, I was 16, I think. You got 16. You were kind of down as I was kind of up. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> my countdown screwed you guys up. All righty, so Coach Stewart got six complete rounds plus 16 of the ball through the gate. So his score was six plus 16. So you're adding up all the uh, reps you got in your incomplete round. All right, six plus 30, four plus 13, eight plus eight. Excellent job, you guys. Good one. Good work. What did think? Yeah, what did you guys think was the hard part? If I had to guess, I think the ball through the gates looked kind of hard. What do you think? What was the hard part? I think just because it was so time consuming, yeah, maybe it'd say that, but they were all steady movements. Like, there's, there's nothing that was that bad. Just had to keep moving. Good job, you guys. We're getting some good scores. Some people got an eight round. Yep, Marcia says gates, Jocelyn gates, yep. Just tricky. Gates were hard. You're out of sync. Push-ups, yep. Push-ups are always hard. Yeah. Even when you get that half a second break at the bottom for those head taps, they're still hard. All right. Good work, you guys. Keep putting your scores in, guys. We've got a couple of things to update you about. You need to turn that around. Oh, what's the first thing? We have another workout this week. Oh. It is a special week if you guys want to join us. Yeah, um, we've got a, a, a collaborative workout through uh, one of our partners, uh, Women's Sport Chicago. So they offer women's leagues um, across the city, um, only for women, recreational, advanced. They've got a lot of different skill levels. So we are teaming up with those guys to do a workout for them on Friday. We'll be broadcasting from their channel. So search 
uh, Women's Sports Chicago on Instagram, um, and the full details are there. So it's another little workout. We're going, I think, 6 p.m. for this one because it's on this Friday. Um, it's going to be geared more towards um, adults, older players and adults. So that'll be a good one if you guys want to get an extra workout in on Friday. Um, next thing, what else? Uh, camps. Camps, yeah, camp registration is live. So um, it seems like we're going to be able to get out and actually play some real soccer in the coming weeks. So uh, check out the website, check out the Instagram. We're going to be updating as things become available. But registration is open, so you guys can go ahead and start registering. Um, there's a COVID page on there, which will tell you about all the safety measures and precautions that we're implementing to make sure we can get back to the field safely. So um, take a look, a little look at that. And finally, next week. Finally, yeah. We've got one more week of workouts. So we've got Friday coming up with Women's Sports Chicago. We then got our workout on Monday with Jordan and Adam with some uh, technical skills. And then this time next week with me and Alyssa will be our last live workout for the time being. So uh, make sure you join us. Um, we're going to make sure we plan something special for you guys. We're going to have a competition next week so you guys can win uh, some prizes. And then other than that, am I missing anything? I think that's it. I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you for working out with us, guys. We'll leave the feed running. If you want to say hi to your teammates and your friends, um, get your scores in. Your effort, what's that? Get your scores in. Get your scores in. Yeah, see how you guys did. Effort. Tough one today, but uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are as sweaty as me. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. All right, bye, everyone. You're welcome, McKenna. See you later. You guys are welcome. A lot of appreciation today. Love it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. We appreciate you guys. Thanks for in. joining. Whew.